In this video, we'll be changing out the front and rear wipers here on this 2014 Dodge Caravan, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we got a 2014 Dodge Caravan here and it is raining pretty hard these days in Texas and it's my first winter here. And we're gonna go and change out the windshield wipers. This guy says he wants to be an engineer or mechanic and he's gonna help us on this video. Are you ready? Yes. I'm gonna leave you guys a link for this kit that came with all three wipers in this box. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this safely. And if you guys just wanna watch the windshield wiper portion of this particular video, just check the chapters and you can hop right through there. But for me, I have to do a little bit of extra prep because I'm moving from a hot weather climate to a cold weather climate. And I wanna go and make sure that these windshield wipers last and I have a really good experience. So I'm gonna go and do two extra steps so I have better visibility while I'm driving during the rain. And as a pro tip guys, if you guys are brand new to this and you've never done this, get yourself a floor mat, a piece of cardboard, and you want to go and lay it down where you're going to go and change out the windshield wiper because what happens a lot of times when people are new to this they'll go and try replacing this and by accident this goes and slams down and they break the windshield and it really can ruin your day and once you have this in the upright position go ahead and flip it into this t position there's a little clip right here go ahead and hit that little clip just pop it down When you first touch that clip, you'll notice that the windshield wiper will drop. If it doesn't, you need to wiggle it a little bit and then work it down slowly in case there's rust or anything else. Now you wanna go and follow this guy's tip, which is... I'm gonna compare the, this one to all the new ones that we have. So I'm gonna compare it to this. This will definitely be a no-no. And over here, this could be it. And over here, this would not, because this will be the back it looks like so i'm going to use the middle one i'm going to use this as you notice this actually has a different kind of adapter but that's okay we're still going to be able to do this so i'm actually glad that these are not the same style that were on there as far as the hooks because i get to show you guys so this is going to be a different style hook on here and you'll notice that there's this little lid that can pop off and pop up so on this one you want to go and pop that lid up that clip up you want to go ahead now pop it down and there you go that one is now in place and we didn't go and crack anything so I normally don't like to remove the protective covers here until the very end so I'm gonna go and do the passenger side now so you guys can see that again for yourself sometimes comparing them is not gonna help you so this was the one that was on the driver side and it happens to be the actual wrong one. So the driver's side is going to need the longer 26 inch one. So make sure you always pay attention in case somebody else has touched your vehicle. And in this case, we're going to have to go put this one on here and this will go on the other side. Hit the little button and pop that off. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to slide this in from right here. And then I'm just going to... No, you can't do it. You have to make sure this is all the way at the top and then push it in now. Oh, I get what you're trying to say. I need to lock it there. All it's, done? Yep. So we'll go ahead and leave these up. And are you ready to do the next part? Yep, let's go handle the back. <sighs> we already know what's going to be the cleanest one because the back one's going to be used already. So we're just going to have to use this. And now, we're just going to have to lift this up right here. We're maybe going to have to lift this and then just unclip it right here, I think. Okay. Safety first always. Now, if you did it the right way, you would be able to go and pivot, but we didn't come in the right direction. So you want to flip it, right? Yeah. And now you want to grab it like this. Yep, once you get it in this position, Push up on it, and it will lock into place. And then, no. And this is why you always want this in place, because that can ruin your day. Yes, I almost cracked the window if that wasn't there. Whew. And to make sure you put it in there correctly, go ahead and give it a wiggle test. You should literally not be able to, to get that out of place like that. So you want to make sure it's clipped in. And this is what you want to hear and feel. 
that is locked into place. Now we are done with that part. And next I like to grab myself a clay bar and you can use water, Windex, whatever you have available. And I actually like the clay, the windshields and all the glass before I do the next step, which is gonna to be to apply this. So let me go ahead and clay the exterior windows here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray water, Windex, whatever you have available, and you wanna clay the glass. This is gonna get rid of all those high spots and ridges that are gonna ruin your brand new windshield wipers. And look guys, this is what's on my windows. So you can feel that it's actually grabbing all those imperfections off the glass. And I like to do this about every two years. And I recently purchased this vehicle this year in California and I drove it down to Texas. So that is pretty nasty. So I got more labor for free. I got this guy helping me and I got his older brother helping me too because he's a little bit taller. So they cleaned the glass, glass is all clean and we clayed it so it's nice and smooth. All the little imperfections are gone. And now we're gonna go and do the final step which is gonna be this for the front and rear windshields. And this is going to be for the side glass and mirrors. And then we have the last item that we need to check, which is going to be the windshield washer fluid. All right, so we are done with the windshield portion of it. And I'm really happy with this. And I didn't break anything, which is fantastic. So these blades are really nice as they get a lot of the area. Uh, you can actually hear the windshield wipers. They're not getting stuck and they're not grabbing on to little imperfections in the windshield now. And the last step, live in an area with cold weather, you gotta wash your windshield washer fluid. This right here is rated for 32 degrees. So this can actually freeze. And when this freezes, the liquid in here will actually bust the container. And it is actually a pretty expensive and nasty repair. And you gotta get underneath the vehicle. So if you wanna avoid that, you wanna go and change out to this all season two in one. And this can go down to zero. But if your windshield washer fluid is full like mine, what are you gonna do? Well, you can throw in a little bit of rubbing alcohol and this will keep that from freezing and you don't have to go dump all that fluid and possibly clog up all your jets, just trying to get rid of all that fluid because of the changing season. So go ahead and flip that up, put in a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I've really enjoyed making this video for you guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I'll leave you guys a link to some of the products that I used in the video description box down below as well. And if you guys want to see more repair videos here on the Dodge, go ahead and check out the playlist down below on the 2014 Dodge repairs. From us claying the windows and then putting the rain X on it, you can see that the water is just beating off. So I don't even have to use my windshield wipers. And the visibility is awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!